All right, so today we're going to be working on our Egyptian cartouche. Now, for, your, for you, the, now for our Egyptian cartouche, what that is is it is an Egyptian necklace or amulet uh, that shows the royal's name or the name of the pharaoh that is depicted along it. So, hopefully, you've got your notes finished where you've written out your name first and last for your cartouche on your paper. And just a second, we'll go over a couple things that we got for us. We have our clay. Just a little bit, because that's all you need to make this, because it's a necklace. It's going to hang a little, it's going to just be small, so not much clay. And then our clay tools. So, for me, I'm going to be using some of my tools just to make things go faster, which is one, the fettling knife, and a uh, just a wooden clay tool. It's got a nice smooth edge to it and a nice uh, straight edge for that I'm going to be using this instead of a pencil, which... Uh, you guys need to use. Uh, and then we got some green tools and a tongue depressor. These ones are the typical clay tools that you guys will be using for class time. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your clay. I'm just going to take off a little section of it. Just use my felling knife to cut off a little chunk. Not real big, just, you know, a nice size. And what you're going to do is you're going to use your fingers. Just going to pinch it into that oval shape. Now, up here I've got some pictures. You're going to make these things in picture order. So you're going to first start off with a slab, where that slab is going to be where you're going to do your cartouche lettering. Uh, after the slab, a nice piece of co a nice coil, uh, and then two, a couple other coils to make the finished piece where you have the bar at the bottom and then some decorative clay pieces on the ends of it right there. So using my fingers, I'm just gonna pinch this into shape. Nice flat board. You know, uh, some people might need to use a roller, roll this thing out so it's nice and flat. It's up to you how you wanna do it. But you wanna try and keep it as nice into that oval shape as possible. Uh, doing it by hand just makes it look a little more impressive. So, it's about the size of the palm of your hand, not much bigger than that, nice little size. And then once you have this done, set this to the side, take another piece of clay, and take just a little knob. Now put this inside your hands, roll it, get that nice spaghetti roll, thin piece of spaghetti. Notice how I just I'm doing this in the air instead of on the table. If you want to do it on the table, you can do it on the table. I can do this in air. Got a little more practice. So just flip it, stretch it out. Try and stretch out those pieces. Try and you usually want to stretch the middle before you do the uh, instead of the ends first, but otherwise it will fall apart on you. Okay, two pieces. All right. So then I'm going to take my main piece over here. I'm working off of a wooden board, uh, which is on the table, hard for you to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that one piece, start going around, take my other piece, add it to it, and bring that all the way around. Now, nice thing is I got a little extra, so we're going to be using that in a second for the decoration piece. So, once I've got it together, I'm going to flatten it a little bit, then using my wood tool, I'm going to go around and I want to smooth out that line because if it is separate, and I can see that the line is separating the two pieces of clay, once it goes in the kiln, these things will start to separate and it will come apart and you won't have a nice cartouche piece. So I'm just going to slide those two together and then just take your finger, smooth it out, so you can keep that nice smooth surface for me to write my cartouche, write my lettering on. So do that around both sides, just like so. Then, take one more piece of clay, Roll it to a nice little stick. This is going to go on the base on the bottom. And we got that extra piece of clay that we got from the, before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to thin this out just a, a little bit more. You don't want it super thick, just, you know, medium size. And then this will go on the bottom of our cartouche, like so. Then taking my other pieces, I'm going to start one, lump it around. And it's going to connect on the back. I like to sit mine on top. I like to see that joint so I can see that it's going to hold. So front and back on both of them. Now, this is the bottom of the piece. So make sure that you smooth all those low lines together so that there's no, um, no spaces left over. Now, once you have your finished cartouche piece made, what you're going to do is then you're going to take your name piece that you started on, on the piece of paper, and what you're going to do is you're going to trace your cartouche that you made on the piece of paper. Now, 
Once you use your pencil and you've traced around the cartouche on the piece of paper, what you're going to do is then inside of that little circle, you're going to rewrite your name inside of that. That way you have a nice tracer image that you're going to then trace that on top of your clay. Let me make an example for you. Alright, so I've got my car cartouche right here ready to go. And what I've done is on this piece of paper, I've traced over my cartouche shape so the shapes match. And then I put my uh, hieroglyphs on here. So all I have to do then is take my piece and lay it on top of here. You want to try and get it as close to centered match as possible. Flatten it down just a little bit. Take your pencil, like so. And what you're going to do is you're going to then trace on top of the shape. And what that is going to do, it's going to put those lines onto the clay and all you have to do is once you have that on your clay is just come back with one of your tools and use your pencil even and just finish off the line design so that your finished piece looks accurate so that one okay the pieces came off just a little bit low so all I gotta do is erase nice thing about clay is if you mess up you just erase it real quick like so and take my piece set it back on top just do it again. Do it right until you get it perfect. Alright, so once you finish your cartouche and you've laid out your design, you want to very carefully you know, pick it up and flip it over. And on the back you should have your last name on the back. But the one thing that I need above everything else is for you to carve your initials into the bottom back side of the cartouche. Because as we come out of the kiln, I want to make sure that I can easily identify whose is whose and not uh, have to sit there and guess and figure out what Egyptian name you put down on the back of your cartouche. All right, so finish these things up. Make these things look awesome. Good luck to you. Can't wait to see them. Later.